In a previous video, I showed you how to install EVE-NG inside of VMware's Workstation Player. You should note that the IP address that I am assigned, in this case via DHCP, is shown at the top of the window here for EVE-NG. So now what I'm going to demonstrate is connecting with the graphical user interface, the web-based management console for EVE-NG, and I'm also going to show you how to gracefully shut down the EVE-NG system. The recommended browser currently for EVNG usage is Firefox. So notice what I've done is I've launched Firefox and I've entered the address that I saw in the EVE console. So it's 192.168.0.16 in my case. I hit carriage return and that brings us to this EVE next generation splash page. The default sign in is admin and the password is going to be your EVE password, the default of EVE, E-V-E. -E. And there's two options. There's a native console and then an HTML5 console. The HTML5 console would be useful if the native console is being blocked by a firewall, for example, and you need a more standards-based approach for the console. I'm going to choose sign in. And notice we are at the administrative management interface of EVNG. Notice that I don't have any topologies or any folder structure off of the root of file manager as expected since I haven't built any configurations or even imported any images into EVNG. But there is something valuable that I can do here at this point and that's go up to the system menu and choose the system status. I want to make sure that there is very little CPU being consumed, very little memory being consumed, and disk being consumed by EVNG. This is really showing me that the installation is healthy and happy. So what I'll do now is I will sign out of this management console now that we've seen that and I'll go back into EVE and I'll show you how to shut down gracefully. So we're going to issue the shutdown command and then we'll do a dash H indicating that we want the system halted. We do not want to reboot the system. And as far as when we want to do it, we want to do it right now. So I'll use the now keyword. I press enter and Eve will go through its graceful shutdown. And in fact, with the workstation player product, that product will disappear. So we have just gracefully shut down Eve. And it also, in my case, shuts down the workstation player as well. Well, thank you so much for watching.